three commands were. When I say stop, you stop fighting. When I say box, you start or resume fighting. When I say break, you both just step back and start again in your own time. Understand, John? Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Last minute instructions given by referee Terry Hill as the girls go back to their corner in preparation for this. Both girls have a one fight, one win record. That's as far as the, the kickboxing goes. There's been a bit of swings and roundabouts in this one. And now it goes straight on to attack. So good, fast start from her to a Levatu giving away that height and reach, trying to stay on the outside, but she's a tough little girl. What I can tell you about her, and I was talking about the swings and roundabouts, uh, Tua Lavao has had quite a few boxing fights, and uh, so she's got the experience as far as ring time is concerned, but on the other hand, they've taken the knees out of this as a K-1 fight, and it's taken away one of uh, Courtney Elliott's best weapon so you know it's a give and take and that's the way that Ethan Shep works try and make the fights as even as possible and this one looks like it's turning it going to turn into a really good one I'm impressed with the way Elliot started this but I have seen Tua Lavao in the boxing ring and she is a powerful little puncher so um, it could be you make a mistake you pay dearly for it but at the moment both girls sticking to their own game plan. Elliot trying to stay on the outside, using the front kick. Ooh, that's a big wind-up kick there from Tua Lavao. She would be training um, a, a bit of kickboxing as well. She comes out of the salt gym, trained by Terry Tudoru up there in Papakura. So it won't be all boxing. It will be a little bit of... Uh, so the shins will be tight, hard enough. And there goes that combination that I was talking about with the hands. Had a lot of trouble with uh, popping a shoulder. I've seen her pop a shoulder in three boxing fights. She, but she had a, an operation to a Lavao on, the, on that shoulder um, a year ago, I think, and she's had no trouble since. So. This is a real even one. This is uh, a nice work there. Good timing. As we go to the end of the first, we go to towels after one. Southport, I want you to kick the fuck out of her inside leg, okay? Alright? Kick it, and then I want you to step over and right hand. Whenever she turns Southport, you throw your right hand or your right kick. Do you understand? Okay? That's it. Taking the, the singlet off, getting down to work, and was a good round number one. Both uh, girls doing really well. Uh, saw Elliot start strongly in round number one. We see see uh, Tulavaru start strongly here. And there goes the rules that I was talking about, the K1 rules. Grab behind the neck, only one knee. I'm pretty sure Elliot would have liked to have been able to put a few more into her shorter opponent, but Tua Lavao, well, I don't know what uh, Terry Tudor said in the corner, we don't have the uh, privilege of hearing the corners from up here, but I'll tell you what, she's come out all fire and brimstone here in round number two, and trying to loot those hands, the guard's good from Elliot, Tua Lavao trying to loot that right hand around behind the guard, she goes there again, trying to find an opening, trying to get the defences down. Elliot straight up the middle. Tulevo's done a, a lot of good kicking, you know, for a, a mainly boxer. She's her kicking has been really good. Now, one thing about the girls, the girls' fights have always been uh, been good. But I tell you what, the uh, 
they're getting better and better as the years go by with uh, the experience and sometimes there's not too many women fighters on the scene and, and the standard drops off but at the moment in New Zealand there's a, a very strong contingent of girls right throughout all the divisions and what that does is just makes uh, the competition tougher and the tougher the competition the better the uh, better the girls get. And this one here, this is a cracker of a fight, there's been no slow moments at all, there's no uh, getting, there goes that one knee again. And um, there's been no lulls in the fight at all. As we come to the end of the second, we've got one round of war left. So they go back to their corners, Ethan Shep and Terry Tudor, who I wonder how they're viewing this one. I've got it very close oh, one big in my if you feel punches on your gloves, all right, when you keep it there, push off and then boom, kick her high. Do you understand? She's going there and then she pulls back and her hands are down. That's when you're going to knock her out. Okay? All right? One, two, one, two, all day. One, two, three, kick. All right? Keep it long. Three. Keep it long, points, all right? It's going to come in fast as down. I want you to toe jam up right at the start. Okay? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Keep oh, it long. All right? Oh, it's just you can Sit back. Seconds out called for the third and final round. Touch up of gloves required before they get underway. Good sportsmanship. And time on signal. I don't know if either team is going to change the game plan too much. I thought that um, Tuolavao was able to get in a bit close in the previous round something that she wasn't able to do in round one so readily and Elliot coming forward trying to uh, get her opponent on the back foot this time trying to keep her at that range that suits her better than it suits Tua Lavao. Tua Lavao change of angle has been good and I think the judges are going to be scratching their heads a little bit in this one been excellent work. You can tell that Elliot missing those knees. She's thrown three of them, but she probably would have liked to have thrown 33. And there goes that looping right hand of Tua Laveau getting round behind the guard again. She was caught on the back foot at the start of the fight, but has fought her way back into this one. And it could come down to the last half of this round. Tuilavau trying to get those hands down. They've been oh well, well you haven't got the glove in the right place. <laughs> that would have been curtains. We'd have been on to the next fight. That was beautifully timed high kick from Elliot. Those are the one-off shots. That there she goes back there again and once again. The uh, the defensive qualities were there from Tuilavau and they needed to be. As they slug it out, both girls got the big will to win. Both of them want to say to the judges, look at me, look at me, as we come to the end of the third and final round. It'll go all the way to the wire, this one, by the look of things. Clash of shins there from both girls, and they well, show the appreciation at the end of it. And both of them probably go away thinking, oh, or wondering whether they've done enough in this one. Very, very close. Well, we haven't got long to find out because we're about to make it all official. Here comes Lieutenant Dan Hennessy. Ladies and gentlemen, leave it to the ladies yet once again to have the fight of the night. A round of applause for these two ladies. Dead right there. After three rounds of K1 kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a unanimous decision winner. Your winner fighting out of the red corner. 
Well, she's got it. Has uh, well, pretty emotional. That shows you how close they thought they they uh, were probably standing there. Is it going to be me? Is it going to be me? And she's overcome with uh, emotion. And it was a fantastic fight. That's Father Ben there on the, the left of the screen. And don't worry about Courtney Elliott, she'll lose no friends over that performance, that's for sure. Good fight, girls. Well done. Brilliant.